Greetings radio people, welcome back to the shack. I wanted to do a very quick video today to show you how I've got my IC7610 configured with a USB connection sending an IQ stream to my PC. That in turn is connected to HD SDR as a pan adapter and then there's a sample of the spectrum being sent digitally to CW skimmer. I want to show you how it all connects together and how it all works. Let's get on with it. So, software installation wise, the first thing to do is to download and install HD SDR. That's the software defined radio software. That's at hdsdr.de. There's a download link down here at the bottom. There's a stable version, I think, is the one I've downloaded. So I downloaded that and then I installed that. Then the next thing I did was I headed over to the ICOM Japan website, followed the links for the 7610, and then I downloaded this package here. So this is the USB IQ package for HDSDR. You need to install that after you've installed HDSDR itself. Agree to the terms, install it, and then you'll, after you've done that, you'll find in your device manager, in under USB controllers, somewhere in here, somewhere somewhere in here i can't see it for looking there it is there is the ic7610 iq output port so that installed itself once i connected a usb cable from the second usb port on the back of the ic7610 to the pc now generally you need to connect that to a usb 3 connector i believe that's for the speed of data transfer i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure it needs to be a usb 3 connection once you connect once you've installed the software do that first then connect the radio and the driver should install itself, detect the rig and install itself and do all that kind of jiggery pokery. Uh, once that's happened, you can then start to run HDSDR. So once you've installed HDSDR, you can then run that and it will automatically detect the uh, EXTIO module, which uh, if you click on this EXTIO button here, you will find it pulls up the 7610 IQ settings. It might be that if you've got more than one radio installed, you have to select it when it starts. This is the only one I've got. Now, I haven't messed around with anything in here, except I've set this only HDSDR sync option here for tuning. That's the only thing I've fiddled with in here. The second thing to show you is sound card. Now, my sound card selection, which is the output from HDSDR, is going to a version virtual audio cable. There's quite a few you can select, you can download and select. I'm not going to show you how to do that, but you need to find a virtual audio cable and connect the output of HDSDR to the input of your virtual audio cable, just like that. Then on the bandwidth box here, the output bandwidth, we need to select 192,000, so 192,000 kilohertz. And the only other thing that I've fiddled with is my output channel mode. Rather than audio, which is the top three, I want uh, an IF, effectively, an IQ output. So I left, Q right. Once you've done that, you can hit the start button uh, down here somewhere, I think, down here. Where is it? Don't know. Yeah, here, this F2 button, this start button here, and then that will start an IQ stream down the virtual audio cable that we've just installed. So the next trick then is to open up CW Skimmer. I'm going to move that from the other PC monitor, which is here. Let me show you the settings I've got in here. So radio, Softrock IF. 192 kilohertz that's the bandwidth we selected as the output from HDSDR so let's match that here and then the audio cable the signal IO device is the other end of that virtual audio cable that's it really you could mess around with cat control to get frequency synchronization and all this either other gubbins but it's not needed to get it working so what that basically means now is that where the radio is tuned is the center point this point here this is the tuning point of the radio and we've now got 192 kilohertz of spectrum with in my case CW part of the 40 meter band feeding into CW skimmer and decoding brilliant eh 
So here's the whole thing in action together. Hopefully you can see this. It's a bit ambitious. I'm trying to record two monitors at the same time. But what we've basically got on the left is HDSDR. As I tune my uh, IC7610, so the tuning on the right, on the left-hand side of HDSDR follows, uh, then CW Skimmer is being fed 192 kilohertz of spectrum around the center tuning point. Now, if anybody knows how to zoom this window, I'd be very interested because currently I have to scroll up and down. The bottom is the lower frequency, so the left hand side of this, and the top. So you can quite clearly see actually that that mess there is this stuff here. I stopped it then by accident, I apologise, but this line here you can see is this here. So we've got from around here somewhere, perhaps here, we've got all the way up. Um, past this big splodge up to this very strong signal here. So this is about the size of the spectrum that I've got fed to CW Skimmer and it's around the center tuning point of the rig. Works very well.